Shalom, beloved. It is a word. As the Lord imparted this understanding onto me, the gifts of the Spirit are for the edification of the entire body. May this word, Yeshua HaMashiach, the living word of Yahuwah, blessed and anointed by the Holy Ruach, be a blessing to the hearer and build you up and tear down all spiritual strongholds. And may we glorify and praise Yahuwah now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. We're in the book of Habakkuk, beloved. The Lord is my strength. Yes, we do not lean on our own understanding, but we recognize that our ways are not like his ways. Our thoughts are not like his thoughts. He is our strength. When we are weak, he is strong. He shows up. He will make our feet like hind's feet to give us an understanding when we are faced with what our physical minds tell us are insurmountable odds. Yahuwah will make our feet like hind feet. He will make us walk upon high places. Yes, but Lord, hinds, as they run from enemies, as they move throughout, those are hind feet going upon their high places, walking where normal minds say they should not, escaping enemies as they go into high places. Yes, beloved, hind feet. We see them upon the craggy rock, vertical rock, moving in high places, avoiding enemies, rising above those spiritual enemies that chase and try to consume us. For Yahuwah has equipped us to rise above. What most cannot do, he gives to his beloved. And he takes us into high places. Yes, yes, yes. Just to show you the power of hind's feet. Yes, beloved. He will make my feet like hind's feet. He will make me to walk upon high places. Yes, yes, yes. And as we do, as we move, we understand when he tells us to the chief singer on my string instruments, David and the chiefs of the service, he set them apart. They were the sons of Asaph, Haman, and Judithan who prophesied with lyres and harps and cymbals. They were the singers in the house of the Lord. Yes, these are those who wrote psalms along with David, who wrote psalms himself. When they were going through struggles, they were praising and worshiping because our faith is not based on what we see. Faith is the standard of those things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. They were singing songs and hymns, blessing and praising Yah. When David was writing Psalms, in many cases, he was fleeing from Saul and from Absalom, who was searching out and seeking his life. He was running, but the promises of Yahuwah are sure, beloved. We sing psalms, we praise and worship, which is our rightful sacrifice unto Yah. And we know that he inhabits our praise. When we begin to praise in rough times, in dangerous times, we're bringing in Yahuwah, the spirit of Yah is with us to the chief singers. Those are those who led praise and worship in the temple. Yes, yes, yes. We also see on my string instruments, yes, yes, when Hezekiah was told by the prophet Isaiah that he would die and Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he prayed unto Yah and he reminded him of all the good things he did, how he had always loved Yah. And Yah sent Isaiah back 
to reward Hezekiah with 15 more years of life. Hezekiah was praising Yahuwah. And he said, I will praise him on my string instruments. Yes, yes, yes. To be exact, beloved. When we look at Isaiah chapter 38, verse 20, the Lord was ready to save me. This is when certain death was in the face of King Hezekiah. When he began to sing on his string instruments, the Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my song to the string instrument all the days of my life in the house of the Lord. When you're looking at something that says you shall die and Yahuwah comes in and saves to the utmost because his word goes out and doesn't come back void. When we look at what Habakkuk is saying, he makes our feet like hinds feet. He will make us walk upon high places. We know that we sit in heavenly places with Yeshua HaMashiach, high places, beloved. Not through what the world tells us, not through the physical senses, because the spirit is in charge and tells the physical what we'll do. How, will, how do we know? Because the Lord is our strength. That's how we know. And those chief singers, those that David set for the service in the house of the Lord. Yes, 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 beloved. And when we look in the first Chronicles, then David spoke to the chief of the Levites to appoint their relatives to singers with instruments of music, harps, lyres, loud sounding cymbals to raise sounds of joy. This is in the midst of the storm, beloved that many of them were doing it many times when David was praising Yahuwah. Death was pursuing David, just like death had been pronounced over Hezekiah by Yah himself. But when he turned his face to the wall and he cried out, the Lord heard him. Yes, yes, yes. When I'm telling you those, he will make your feet like hind feet and make you walk upon high places, those things where he takes you above your enemies, where they cannot reach you. He will change your mind. He will renew your thinking in places where the carnal cannot find that spiritual child of the most high. And the chief singer, yes, 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 to the chief singer, you are in the temple of the Lord. You are in his very presence. How do you know? Because we sit in heavenly places through Yeshua HaMashiach on our string instruments, praising and worshiping him, which is our rightful sacrifice. It is a sacrifice, a glorious sacrifice. And your praise is comely, beloved. It beautifies you. Yes, it does. In the midst of the storm, because he will show you his ways are not like your ways. His thoughts are not like your thoughts. When you put your trust in the Lord and he renews your strength. Yes, yes, yes. And you get those hind feet, beloved. It is a word about the power and the glory of what our father can do with hind feet moving away from our enemy. And he takes us to our high places. Doing that which according to the mortal mind would be considered impossible. But what is impossible for man through Yah, all things are possible. Yes, beloved, yes, yes, yes. It is a word, beloved. We are in the book of Habakkuk. The Lord is our strength. He will make our feet like hinds feet. He will make us to walk upon our high places. And to the chief singers on our string instruments, we will glorify him. Even when death is threatening us, we will go within that holy zone of Yahuwah. We will go within his holy realm. We will be in that spiritual space that only Yah can take us. We will be seated in heavenly places with Yeshua HaMashiach. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.